This movie is so easy to make, and the aliens are at this level. Fan Mangzi, who was staying at home because of pneumonia, watched the movie Crazy Aliens and poured Fat House happy water into his mouth, while make complaints. He can also deal with aliens that can be dealt with with a bottle of Urquatu. If any alien dares to destroy his home, he must kill each other. It's a pity, where are their aliens? Movies are all lies. Ding Earth Guardian version 1.0 has been launched, congratulations, you have become a glorious backup Earth Guardian, please grow up as soon as possible and protect the Earth home. Drinking Coke, can you drink high? Before he could react, he felt the world spinning for a while. I don't know how long it took, Fan Mang woke up faintly, he sat up and woke up for a while, something was wrong, this was not his room, and there seemed to be some memories that didn't belong to him in his mind. He is a second generation Chinese living in New York, whose name is also Fan Mang. After graduating from college, he was obsessed with aliens and made many mistakes in his work so he changed several jobs and is now an unemployed young man. Now I share an apartment with a black roommate, because it saves money, and that roommate is still a policeman. Hey, it seems that I can see an illusory character, who looks like him. With a move in my heart, the character attribute panel appears. Fan Meng, sex, male, grade 1 health, 60, spirit, 1, strength, 1, Speed, 1, Special Ability, None, Weapons, None, Free Attribute.0 Received the Earth Guardian Novice Reward, All Attributes Increased by 10%, and a LV2 Experience Card. Each time you level up, you can get Attribute Point Rewards, which can be used to improve your own attributes. Killing Aliens can get Treasure Chests, which can be opened with Rich Rewards. Before he could figure out the whole situation, the door was suddenly pushed open, and a tall black man broke in, took out a pistol from his waist and put it on the table. Hey, Fan, what time is it, you're lying in bed like an old man. Will Smith? Fan Mang was so excited that he almost jumped out of bed. I actually met the superstar Will Smith. He and I were roommates. But something is wrong, why is this so much younger? Ding the main character James Edwards is detected, the mission is on, please join Mib to learn more about aliens, so as to better protect the Earth in the future. After completing the task, you can get rich rewards. Mib? Man in black? Am I entering the movie world? Fan, what are you doing? I'll rest tomorrow. We'll go to the bar for a drink tonight. Maybe we'll meet a beautiful girl. James Edwards urged. Jay, wait a minute, I have to change my clothes. Jay? Ha ha ha, I like this title. It's like the code name of an agent. You will call me Jay in the future. James said excitedly. Fan Mang went to the bathroom to wash up and looked in the mirror. He still looked like his original face. He wanted to laugh a lot. Isn't his dream to see real aliens? and now his dream has come true. After packing up his things, he looked at the few bills in his wallet with a maximum face value of only $10. Fan Mang felt that his identity was quite miserable. Jay also changed his clothes, a white t-shirt, with a gold chain around his neck and earrings on his ears, what is this a policeman? Fan, you don't know what happened to me at work today. A little gangster actually robbed the old lady. I chased him for two streets and caught him. He dared to commit a crime in front of my brave New York police detective. Swinging to the music in the car, boasting. Yes, you are the best police detective in New York. If I were the chief, I would have given you a promotion. Fan Mang kept staring out the window, where are there aliens? Is that old lady on the roadside? Alien? Hey dude, you know me so well. And I think the police uniforms should have changed a long time ago, they are ugly now. We should be like those IRS guys in suits and leather shoes, that's a lot handsome. Fan Mang glanced at Jay, your dream will soon come true. But then you will only be able to wear the same color of black Zizwin, 
I am afraid you will miss the current clothes. I prefer casual clothes, which are more comfortable to wear. Anyway, I'm different from you, I don't have to go on patrol every day. Fan Mang remembered the wardrobe in his apartment, which seemed to have only one suit in it, and it looked very cheap. Fan, haven't you found your new job yet? You need a job. I can pay the rent for you first, but if you don't have a job, you won't be able to get a girlfriend. With such a roommate who was willing to take the initiative to pay the rent, Fan Mang felt that the predecessor of this identity did not seem to be a failure. You have a job and your income is stable, but do you have a girlfriend? Fan Mang asked rhetorically. J, F X X K. Fan, look good, tonight at the bar, there will be a lot of girls around me. Don't be jealous when I bring me back to the apartment at night. Before we go to the bar, do we want to have something to eat? How about going to that Chinese restaurant in Chinatown? Their dumplings are delicious. Jay remembered that Fan Mang invited him to eat it once. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu.com A Chinese restaurant in Chinatown? Fan Mang remembered that in the movie, this is not a store opened by Chinese, but an alien, and there are many alien ingredients in it. Chinatown is too far away. Let's just buy a hamburger and a hot dog on the side of the road to pamper our stomachs, but don't delay our time to go to the bar. If it's too late, those pretty girls will be hooked up by others. Before Fan Mang could say anything, Jay came up with a new plan. It happened that there was a fast food truck on the corner of the road. Fan, this meal is your treat. I'll treat you at the bar. I just paid this month's salary. I want a hot dog and an iced coke. Fan, what do you like? Fan Mang took a big bite of the hot dog. The taste was good and the price was not too expensive. The money in his pocket could still afford it. Fan, what kind of hot girl do you like? Blonde white, curly black, or long-haired yellow? Jay asked while eating. I like big breasts. Pft ha 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 ha, this answer is great. Jay laughed and squirted out the coke. Hey, Jay, do you see something wrong in the alley over there? Fan Mang pointed to a small alley not far away. The lights were a little dim, but he could see a woman shouting something while a man walked from the alley. He ran out with a lady's handbag in his hand. FXXK, what a robbery. Dare to rob in front of the bravest police detective in New York, you're out of luck. Jay cursed, got out of the car and ran over. Don't move, police. When the robber heard this, not only did he not stop, but he ran away quickly, with Jay chasing after him. Fan Mang also threw down the half-eaten hot dog and chased after him. Because he found that the robber moved too fast, not like a normal person, or, not like an earth person. Stop and don't move, I'll shoot if you run again. Jay raised his gun with both hands and aimed at the robber. It is a pity that the robbers have already run into the street and there are many pedestrians on the street, and he is afraid of accidental injury. FXXK. Let me catch you, and I will definitely break your legs. Jay chased after him desperately, watching the robbers rush onto an overpass. The robbers were running too fast, and every jump seemed to be very high. Could he be a parkour player? Fan Mang saw Jay rushing up to the overpass, and he hurriedly followed. However, his physical fitness is a lot worse. Fortunately, he still has a whole card, the LV2 Experience card. With a move in his heart, the LV2 Experience card disappeared. Fan Mang felt that there was a power in his body, and the exhaustion from running fast just now disappeared. The robber grabbed the guardrail of the overpass with both hands, looked at Fan Mang and Jay who were catching up, and jumped down without hesitation. He just bent his knees slightly and ran quickly into the distance. Jay was stunned. Are the robbers so desperate now? Wait, what is Fan going to do? A double-decker bus happened to pass under the bridge, Fan Mang saw the location and jumped straight off. Ordinary people can do it, he is the brave New York police detective, so can he. 
As soon as Jay gritted his teeth, he also jumped down, rolled on the spot, and just stood up, he saw Fan Mang jump off the second floor of the moving bus, chasing after the robbers. Oh who is that person, he is so handsome. There is A with a blonde face, what a great body, and some aspects must be particularly powerful. Jay was stunned for a moment, who are the police, why are you working harder than me? I'm the bravest police detective in New York, how can I keep you up? Don't panic, NYPD, we're chasing criminals. Jay showed his police card, glanced down, and then, went down the stairs of the bus and jumped from the open door on the first floor. The second floor is too high, when did Fan become so fierce? Just as a truck turned a corner, Jay grabbed the truck and looked at the two people running the side of the road. Fan's physical strength is so good, why didn't he realize it before? The robber looked back, no one was chasing after him, and he finally breathed a sigh of relief. He was actually met by the little policeman of the earth, is it thrown away now? Poor people on earth don't know yet, the earth is going to end, right? When that one arrives, the earth will be barren. Fan Mang watched Jay hitch a ride past him. Shit, why didn't he think of hitchhiking? However, LV2's physical fitness is really strong, and he feels that he has definitely surpassed many soldiers now. Fan, thank you for your contribution to this city, but catching criminals, leave it to me, the bravest police detective in New York. The robber just wanted to see what valuables were in the bag when he saw a figure rushing over. The other party grabbed his wrist, pressed him against the wall, and took out a police card from his pocket. Hey, don't you see, NYPD, that means I'm going to turn you into the police station. You screwed up my dinner, you bastard. He's coming, he's coming. The robber said in horror. When he comes, I will catch him together, and send him to the police station. Jay thought that the other party was talking about an accomplice, and catching a gang crime was more credited than catching one. Maybe he can take this promotion and raise his salary, so that Lilith, who has a big chest in the office, likes him. When he was imagining a better life in the future, he saw that the robber took out an arm-length gun from nowhere, with a very strange shape. Fan Mang just rushed over and kicked the robber's wrist. The gun fell to the ground shattered like glass, and turned into a ball of fire. FXXK. Jay wanted to curse. How did such a big gun come out like this? The robber or the magician? Otherwise how could the gun shatter and still burn? Taking advantage of Jay's stupefied effort, the robber slammed back suddenly, and at the same time quickly kicked his feet on the wall, his body turned 360 degrees, and pushed with the trend not only breaking free from J.S. restraint, but also letting him go. J. hit the wall. What the is going on with this robber? He jumped off the overpass, was able to stand stably, ran fast, jumped high, and still had a lot of strength. With your physical fitness to become an athlete, why would you want to rob? But no criminal can escape from the brave New York police detective, not even this one. Jay took out his pistol and aimed with both hands, but saw that the robber ran towards a parking lot in front of him, and his roommate Fan Mang was rushing over. Hey, Fan. I said this kind of thing to me, the other party is very dangerous. While shouting, he rushed over, Jay didn't want his roommate to be in danger. Where's the man? Where did he go? Jay stood beside Fan Mang, looking for the robber. Before Fan Mang could answer, he saw a figure jumping up from the lawn, jumping onto the outer wall of the building, and climbing up with both hands and feet. Jay was stunned. This wall was so vertical to the ground that there was no ladder, not even a water pipe. How did the robber climb up? Fan, you stay here, I'll catch him. I don't care how much he runs, no criminal can escape from me. Jay quickly rushed to the main gate of the parking lot, but unfortunately it was already closed by this time. He raised his pistol, shattered the glass with a bang, and rushed in. He ran up the ramp in the parking lot. FXXK. 
How can this building be built so high? Jay ran out of breath. He swore that if he caught the robber, he would give him a good lesson. At this time, he saw something rising from the side, and Fan Mang was still waving at him. Why didn't he think of taking the elevator? Are the elevators closed after get off work? The robber was trapped on the rooftop, and all the doors were locked. He tried one by one, and finally a door was opened. You run again. Jay took a deep breath and pointed the gun at the robber's head in both hands. He would shoot if he dared to run again. He's here. Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com The robber raised his hands and stepped back, he's here, because I failed, so he came to kill me. Jay frowned, this robber has a sick mind, and the forward doesn't make sense. Could it be that he sucked? Fan, help me take the handcuffs out of my waist. I'm going to take this confused guy back and let him wake up at the police station. Fan Mang didn't take the handcuffs but looked at the robbers. This is an alien, and he looked too much like an earthling. You said someone was going to kill you, when will he come and can you contact him? Jay frowned, what was Fan Mang saying, do you really believe this robber's nonsense? The end of the earth is coming, he will kill everyone, and you will all die. The robber didn't answer Fan Mang's words, and continued to talk to himself. Suddenly, the robber's eyes blinked, but the upper and lower eyelids did not move, as if there was an extra layer of eyelids. J.S. hands trembled. Today, he has seen too many strange things in this robber. It is absolutely impossible for human eyes to blink like this. This cannot be magic. Who are you? The robber didn't say anything, with a mysterious smile on his face, he stepped back and reached the edge of the rooftop. Hey. Look carefully and be careful behind. Come down quickly, I'll show you your eyes. I just stole a bag, at most I sucked it, so it wouldn't kill me, right? Fan Mang said quickly, don't be afraid, tell me how to find the person who wants to kill you, and we'll deal with him. It's useless, you will all die, and the earth will perish. The robber spread his arms and leaned back. Fan Mang rushed over quickly reaching out to grab the other person, wait a minute, let's talk. The two stood on the edge of the rooftop, looking at the corpse below. Jay felt a little depressed, and at the same time couldn't understand why the other party committed suicide. Fan Mang wanted to see if there would be any changes to the corpse. Even if the appearance was the same, the internal organs would always be different, right? Fan Mang also saw a shiny box beside the alien body, but J.S. eyes didn't seem to see it. Fan, don't worry, he committed suicide and has nothing to do with us. J. turned around and put away his pistol, comforting Fan Mang. J., don't you think what he said is a little strange? Maybe he committed suicide because of fear. J. looked puzzled, I committed suicide because I was afraid of being killed by others? Fan, this is not the right time to tell jokes. Let's go, it seems that tonight's bar hunting is gone, you have to go back to the police station with me to make a record. There's a police car driving here. When they got downstairs, the two came to the body. Discover the bronze treasure chest and open it to get rewards. Of course, Fan Mang chose to open it immediately, and saw that the box disappeared instantly. At the same time, the system showed that he had gained two free attribute points. Retrieve system personal information. Fan Mang, sex, male, level, 2, health, 66, spirit, 1.1, strength, 1.1, speed, 1.1, special ability, none, weapons, none, free attribute point 6. He added a bit of the upgrade attribute points to spirit, strength, and speed, and turned them into 2.1. Fan Mang collapsed comfortably on the ground in an instant, which was much more exciting than using an experience card. Hey, Fan, I'll just say you can't see dead people, don't worry, there's me. Jay hugged Fan Mang, this roommate's courage is not good. What is this thing you made, is it for people to eat? 
I think the only valuable thing in the house is my pickup truck. Edgar, the small farmer, was cursing his wife when he heard an explosion outside. Sound. He picked up the shotgun in his hand, pushed open the door, and saw that his pickup truck had disappeared, there was a big hole on the ground, and the trees on the side were burning with flames. What's the matter? The wife came out and felt weak in her hands and feet. Did a missile hit here? Go back to the house. After Edgar drove his wife back, he took the shotgun and walked forward slowly. There's a good chance there's danger here, and he can't put his wife in danger too. Standing on the edge of the pit, Edgar looked down, it was pitch black, as if there was something. Please put the transmitter on the ground. A harsh voice came from the pit. You want me to put down the gun? Unless you can eat me raw. Edgar clicked, loaded the gun, destroyed his pickup truck, and made such a big hole in front of his house, how dare you threaten him? Good idea, I accept your suggestion. When Edgar didn't understand what the other party meant by this sentence, he saw a tentacle-like thing pop out of the pit. Before he could even shoot, he was grabbed by the head and dragged in, only before he could shoot. A scream. At this moment, there was a sound of chewing something in the pit, and Edgar's scream slowly disappeared. Half a minute later, a corpse that seemed to lack flesh and bones was thrown up and dragged down again. Then Edgar jumped up again, moved his neck, as if nothing had happened just now, and returned to the house with a shotgun. Inside. Edgar, what is that? The wife was relieved to see her husband come back. Sugar. Sugar? Sugar will blow up a big hole in front of our house. The wife obviously didn't believe it, and she had vaguely heard screams just now. Give me candy. The wife was a little puzzled. The husband didn't seem to like sweets very much before. What happened today? However, seeing her husband's serious expression, she hurriedly handed the sugar bowl to him. Maybe his husband was also a little nervous and needed sugar to relieve his stress. Pour into the water. More. A can of granulated sugar was mixed with a glass of water, and it didn't even dissolve completely, and was swallowed by Edgar. But when Edgar looked up, the wife noticed that her husband's skin had become extremely loose. Your skin looks like it's about to fall off. The wife said hesitantly, why didn't she find it before? Does the husband have some strange disease? Edgar looked in the mirror and saw that the skin on his neck had really slackened. He stretched out his hand to grab his hair and lifted it up. His entire facial features were distorted, as if the whole skin had been pulled up. Feel better. His wife rolled her eyes and fell directly to the ground. Edgar walked out of the room with a shotgun, and pushed the aircraft he had used when he came out of the pit. I swear what I said is true. When that guy blinked, he really had two pairs of eyelids. Jay looked at his two colleagues, why don't you believe me? Two pairs of eyelids. The fat policeman glanced at the sheriff in a white shirt, you mean his eyes are like car lights, with high beam and low beam. The sheriff held back his smile, okay, Edwards, did he blink before or after you said he pulled out that vaporized gun? After that, sir. Then why didn't anyone else see this strange phenomenon? The sheriff asked rhetorically. Fan saw it, and he also came back with me to make a record. Didn't you ask him? Jay knew that what he said was hard to believe, but he was telling the truth. As for why the person who was supposed to be on patrol didn't see it today, that's because his belly is too big and he couldn't catch up with the robbers at all. Jay glanced at the fat policeman. Edwards is there something wrong with your mind? Could it be that you threw that person from the roof? The fat policeman is not happy anymore, why did you get involved with me? Shut up, go to the next door to see how the interrogation went. The sheriff stopped the two colleagues accusing each other, and looked at Jay again, you think carefully here. In the next room, Fan Mang was also sitting on a chair with a very bright lamp shining directly above his head. Are you sure you didn't smoke? Never before. Lilith, a super-chested policewoman, stared at Fan Mang's eyes. 
no. And you can check my resume and tax records, I don't have the money to touch that kind of stuff. You mean, you will smoke if you have money. Lilith leaned in front of Fan Mang, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com glared at Fan Mang condescendingly, but Fan Mang's perspective could just see her human. Police officer, I was invited back as a witness to make a transcript. I'm not a prisoner. I'm responsible for everything I say, and you are also responsible for your words, otherwise I'll ask a lawyer to sue you. Fan Mang crossed Erlang's legs and aliens appeared then Mib would definitely come forward. At that time, the policewoman's memory will be cleared, and the relevant video data will also be cleared, so it doesn't matter if he says some extreme things now. With a click, a fat policeman opened the door and came in, Lilith, what did this kid explain? Did Edwards push that man down from the roof? Hey, I'm interrogating here. Who let you in? Lilith was a little dissatisfied. It was the sheriff who asked me to come and help. Boy, hurry up and explain, don't delay me from get off work. He still has to be interrogated at night, don't know if it will delay his sleep? I repeat, the one who committed suicide was an alien. The evidence is that he has two pairs of eyelids, and you can send a forensic doctor to dissect his body. Alien? You two plan to use this kind of lie to cover up the fact that you killed yourself. The fat policeman had an expression that saw through your tricks. Lilith, let's go out for a while, have a cup of coffee, let him wake up here and ask questions later, I believe he will know how to tell the truth. The fat police officer pulled Lilith out. Fan Mang was not in a hurry, with a faint smile on his face. After a while, a woman knocked on the door and came in with a certificate hanging around her neck. I believe what you said, hello. I'm Assistant Coroner Laura Vivell. You can come to the morgue with Jay later, I have evidence. When Wei Wei A appeared, Fan Mang hurriedly turned around. The Mib person should also appear soon. He was not in a hurry, he would see the organization in a while. Vivier works in a hospital and is also an Assistant Coroner of the New York Police Department. She has dissected many dead bodies, but she has never seen one like this one. This corpse is definitely not a human being, and that is not an eyelid. She thinks that her discovery may be published in a scientific journal, proving the existence of aliens like the world, and the aliens look a lot like them, and they may be around everyone. After coming out of Fan Mang's interrogation room, she went to the interrogation room next door and said the same thing to Jay who was hanging there. Walking out of the door of the interrogation room, he saw a man in a black suit and sunglasses standing in front of him. Excuse me, are you Ms. Viviera, the coroner? I am you. Click. A flash of white light flashed, and Vivier was stunned. When I woke up again, I couldn't remember why I came here. It seems that there is no case here today, right? Forget it, hurry home from get off work and take a hot bath to rest. Hey. Who was that guy in black just now? Haven't you seen it at the police station? Kay took off his sunglasses while walking into the interrogation room where Jay was closed, and sighed. He has been really busy recently. He had just dealt with the matter of an alien committing a crime on Earth, and another incident happened here. Are those aliens taking Earth too seriously? I don't know how powerful their MIBs are. But what made him even more sad was that his partner, Detective D, was going to retire because of his old age. Thinking about going out on a mission by himself in the future, he has even more headaches. It seems that he still has to choose to train new people. He needs a new partner. Moreover, he is not too young, he will retire in a few years, and it is impossible to work in the front line all the time. Jay looked at the man in black who came in and unplugged the monitor's power cord. Who was this man? However, the people who can come in must be their own people. Is it someone from the FBI? Those are gills, not eyelids. He moved his gills to breathe. Kay reached out and gestured on both sides of his cheeks. Gills? Do people have gills? Is it really what Fan Mang said, 
that the dead robber was not an earthling? Who are you? How did this person know about this kind of thing? What did he tell you? I mean the dead alien. K didn't reveal his name, but continued to ask. Seeing K's appearance of giving orders, Jay instinctively regarded the other party as a political axe, and replied again, he said the end of the earth is coming. When did he say? The playful smile on Jay's face disappeared, and the other party's expression was serious, and he obviously believed his words. If you see those weapons again, can you recognize them? K looked at Jay. Absolutely. All right then, let's go for a ride. K walked to the door and opened it. Wait, I have to write a detailed report on this matter, and my friend is next door, and he also saw aliens. The report has been written. As soon as K finished speaking, the sheriff passed by the door with a report, that's great, Edwards, you can go with your friends. Jay looked bewildered, what did I write? Since I arrived at the police station, haven't I been questioned all the time, I haven't even touched a pen. It's not easy for you to catch up with that guy. Is your friend next door? I'll deal with it. You wait for half a minute. Kay pushed open the door of the interrogation room next door. Fan Mang saw a black suit walk in with sunglasses on his face, and immediately knew that the other party was from Mib. Wait, what did he get out of his pocket? I don't want to be erased. Young man, did you say you saw aliens today? Come, let me test your eyesight, look here. Fan Mang quickly lowered his head and closed his eyes, while covering his eyes with his arms, wait a minute, I want to join you. Looking at the other party's appearance, it seemed that he knew what he was holding. K.S. hand holding the memory eraser stopped in midair, what did you say? I said that I want to join Mib and become a black-clothed agent to deal with aliens and protect the Earth. Fan Mang said loudly. K put the memory eraser into his pocket first. Trouble, another slip through the net. There have been many people who have seen aliens before, and even their Mibs, but unfortunately they were not discovered at that time, and their memory was not cleared. When did you know about Mib? Who did you tell it? I knew it by accident when I was a child, so you are really organized by Mib? I haven't told anyone, I'm an orphan, I have no friends except Jay, I'm very suitable to be a Mib detective, and I'm in great health, I caught up with the alien on foot today. Fan Mang quickly talked about his advantages, hoping to impress K. This is a senior Mib detective who has personally caught many alien criminals, some of them were repatriated and some were sent to the moon prison. Okay, then you can go for a ride with me too. Thinking that he is just about to recruit new people, this guy is not bad. Being able to catch up with cyberstars on foot is great. If it fails, it doesn't matter if you clear the memory again. Hey, are you all okay? Jay pushed open the door and poked his head in. The two followed behind K and got into K's car together. As soon as he got in the car, Jay couldn't help but ask, What department are you from? The FBI? The Security Bureau? Or some other secret department? Kay glanced at the rearview mirror, Don't you know, you you reading www.uugonshu.com explain it to him, and I'll see how much you know about us. Fan Mang turned his head to look at Jay, they are Mib, responsible for managing all the aliens on Earth. Jay looked at Fan Mang and then at K, Mib? Manage aliens? Where are you taking us? You'll know when you get there. K didn't explain and continued to drive. Then you have to tell me your name, right? Did I keep calling you Hey, or that person, or the old man? Jay's mouth seemed to be restless. I don't have a name. You can call me K. This is my code name in the organization. K? No name? Fan, do you believe that a person can have no name? Even kittens and dogs have names. What's the matter, do you believe his words? Jay spread his hands, always feeling that Fan knew a lot that he didn't know things. Didn't I call you Jay too? 
Fan Mang suppressed his inner excitement and joined the organization, he would be able to see more aliens. After a while, the car stopped, Jay got out of the car and looked up, isn't this Jack's shop? His shop often sells some stolen goods, but they don't sell guns. This is what you want to come here. This is his place, and he is very familiar with the three religions and nine streams here. Why is this K survey here? Really? K looked at Jay playfully. I'll go in first and ask him a few questions. When I come out, I hope you two can tell me the truth. Fan, we are brothers. Then go ahead and ask your question first, I just happen to have a few more words with him. K turned to look at Fan Mang, what this person knew, it didn't seem like he had glanced at it occasionally. Ask for collection, ask for recommendation ticket. Where did you hear about the MIB organization, and you still know so much about our functions? I saw you arresting aliens once when I was a child. It's not you, but I dress the same as you. They call themselves MIB. They say they manage all the aliens on the Earth and protect the Earth. Fan Mang said bravely. The memory of his body really doesn't have aliens, but MIB has dealt with aliens so many times, how do you know which one? Really? Since you know Mib, you should know that in front of us, no one can lie. Our strength is much stronger than you think. K didn't continue to investigate further, and it was enough to have someone check it back. All information from birth is available. Taking Fan Mang in, he heard Jay arguing with Jack. These Rolexes you see are all my possessions, and I don't have a gun. The owner, Jack, argued. Show him the imported goods. Kay said. When Jack saw Kay, he was stunned for a moment, then squeezed out a smile, Hey, Kay, how are you? I stopped selling those things a long time ago. Why did this troublesome guy come here? Yes, if you don't admit it to death, can you still spit out the money you make? Kay took out a strangely shaped pistol from his arms and pointed at Jack's head, No one can lie to me. I count to three. One. He did what he said. Jay thought that Kay was trying to frighten Jack. He used to frighten some suspects before, and the effect was very good. Eh? Why did Fan Mang take two steps back? Was he afraid of anything? When he's crazy, he really does that. You'd better listen to him. Fan Mang suggested, and at the same time stared at Jack's head. He's always like that. Jack's eyes were separated, one looking at Jay in front of him and the other at Fan Mang. Why did Kay bring two newcomers, when did Mib become a threesome? Two. You'd better take it out quickly, otherwise Kay won't hesitate. Fan Mang said behind Kay. I said that I don't sell those things anymore, and these Rolexes are not yours, right? Jack continued to play stupid. Three. Bang! Jack's head exploded instantly, and the green liquid splashed around and sprayed onto J.S. body. Jay pulled out his pistol instantly and pointed at K, put down the weapon and raise your hand above your head. Fan, you should be careful to hide. Was this man crazy and murdered in front of the police? Do you really think that it is a special department that can be unscrupulous? And what kind of weapon was it that knocked off a person's head? I warned him. K.S. Muzzle dashed down slightly, as if he didn't care that J.S. Muzzle was pointed at him. Put down the weapon and the gun, I also warned you. J.S. Tone became hurried. He suddenly saw that Fan's eyes and expressions seemed a little wrong. Was there something behind him, wasn't it a fallen corpse? It shouldn't be able to see it. J. Trust me, look behind you. Fan Mang pointed to the inside of the counter, he's not dead. You old bastard. Jay turned his head to look over and saw that Jack's headless corpse stood up, and a meatball appeared from the neck. The meatball grew rapidly, gave birth to facial features, and then turned into a head. The facial features looked dead. Dropped Jack. If the head is gone, can it grow back? Do you know how painful this is? Jack complained, some liquid dripping down his face. 
Hurry up and take out the weapon, or I'll make another shot. K.S. face was calm, as if knocking someone else's head off was a common thing. J, put down the gun, it's an alien, you can't die if you lose your head. Fan Mang said, you better give us something, or you will experience this pain again. J put down the pistol and felt that his three views were impacted again, which was much more frightening than the guy who jumped off the building before. Jack looked at the pistol that K pointed at him, the other party would really do that. He pressed a button under the counter, and many decorations on the wall instantly flipped over, revealing various weapons with strange shapes behind him. Fan Mang's eyes widened. These are all super weapons. I don't know which is more powerful than the atomic gun commonly used by Mib. Identify it. K made a gesture of invitation. Fan Mang pointed to a peculiarly shaped gun, that's the one, the one in the middle. J also nodded, that's right, it was this gun that fell to the ground, there was a burst of fire, and then disappeared. You sold the reflective carbonized energy conversion gun to unlicensed Cybermen, who allowed this. K glared at Jack. Jack defended innocently, he doesn't look like a bad guy. He was crying in his heart, I just do this business, will a licensed person come to me to buy a gun? Will it pay that much? Who is the target he wants to assassinate? K.S. hand was shaking while holding the gun. If it wasn't for the treaty, he really wanted to arrest this Jack. He didn't know how many weapons he had sold to aliens behind his back. I don't know. Jack really doesn't know. He only sells guns and who the customers buy guns to kill. K.S. gun pointed at Jack's head instantly, take the next spaceship to leave the Earth, or I will kill you. All these weapons will be confiscated. Jay suddenly felt that his momentum was weakened, and K was the big guy who said he would shoot. Hey, Fan Mang seems to be rubbing some green liquid with something. Fan, what are you doing? Collect a little blood, you you read www.uugonshu.com to see what's different about alien blood, and by the way, study what poison can make aliens die silently. Jack was thinking of hiding for a while, but when he heard Fan Mang's words, he immediately pulled all the Rolexes on the table into a pocket, took out a box from the wall behind him, put it in the bag, and ran along the back door, K.'s new partner is terrifying. Seeing Jack fleeing away, Jay looked at Fan Mang curiously, can you really research this medicine? Fan Mang shrugged, I'm just talking casually. Jay stood at the door, still digesting the alien thing. K put on his sunglasses, are you still thinking about how to accept these things? I can guarantee that in the morning tomorrow, you will forget all this. Hey, Fan, look here, don't let me use violence, okay? Fan Mang asked earnestly, can you give me a chance for an interview? Or we are both interested in this job, right, Jay? Kaka. Jay looked at a strange old guy who was telling a bad joke in front of him, who was about to slap the table with laughter, but he was at a loss. He remembered that he asked Fan to go to the bar to pick up girls, why did he drink here? Who is this old guy? Fan, who is this? Fan Mang didn't have his memory erased, but he still put on a blank expression, isn't it your friend? Yeah, we're friends, Edwards. Maybe the tequila is too strong. Next time, you'd better add some soda and ice. Anyway, if you two want to come, be there at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. K handed a MIB business card to the two of them. He deliberately looked at Fan Mang more and always felt that the Chinese was a little too calm. Meb? What's this? Fan, this person is here to introduce you to work. Jay was a little dazed, it seemed that he really drank too much and forgot a lot of things. I also forgot, maybe it's a job. Who knows, I'm going to go see it tomorrow. Fan Mang shrugged and took a sip from his glass. His this tequila is really strong. How do I remember that he just said that we should go together tomorrow? It's not that I don't have a job. I like being a policeman very much, and I can arrest many bad people. 
Jay put the business card on Fan Meng, and took another sip from his glass. Er he seems to remember that he brought Fan Meng with him in his car. Now that he drinks so much, can he still drive? Forget it, leave him alone. Anyway, looking at the time, it's too late to go to the bar, so let's drink here. Jay, accompany me to the interview tomorrow, you agreed just now. Fan Meng thought for a while and said. If you have a familiar person as a colleague with you, you will not be so lonely at that time. If you enter Mib, you will be deleted, and you will become a non-existent person. When will you retire and when will you be able to return to a normal life? Did I promise? Why can't I remember? Okay, I'll drive you to the interview tomorrow. Hiccup let's have another drink. No no no, we have to stay awake, let's go. I'll have a successful interview tomorrow, I'll invite you to a drink. Fan Mang doesn't want to drink tequila anymore, he prefers beer. The two walked out of the restaurant, and Jay looked around, do you remember where I parked the car? I can't remember. Isn't there a taxi? Let's take a taxi back and come back tomorrow after sober up. Anyway, you're a policeman. Would anyone dare to steal your car? When they chased the alien who fell from the building, the car was left alone. Later, they took a police car to the police station. He doesn't know what the car looks like now. Did he help lock the door? Should it be locked? That's right, no one dared to move my brave detective's car in New York. Let's take a taxi home. Back at the apartment, Jay fell on the bed and snored. Fan Mang washed his face locked himself in the room, and made a cup of coffee. When he met Kay today, he named the other party's identity, which was actually a bit risky. But at that time he had no other choice, and Kay wanted to wash his memory directly. At least now Kay gave him a chance for an interview, but he didn't know how many people he planned to recruit this time. If there is only one, then I can only say sorry to Jay. He is currently a LV2 and his physical fitness is far superior to that of ordinary people. It's a pity that as a detective, he seems to need to know how to shoot. Early the next morning, Fan Mang was woken up by J.S. cursing. Jay, what's the matter? Didn't you rest today? Fan Mang opened the door and walked out to the bathroom while yawning. FXXK. Someone stole my car, and my colleague called me over saying that I stole all my favorite E.T. dolls in my car. Jay looked indignant, the colleague actually said that he forgot to lock the car, there is no sign of picking the lock at all, how is this possible, I always lock the car when I get out of the car. It's fortunate that everything else is there. It just so happens that we go to pick up the car after washing up, and then you accompany me to the MIB interview. Interview? I thought it was because I drank too much and dreamed yesterday. It turns out that you have really found a job. Let's go, we'll set off right away. When I got into the taxi, Jay was still asking, you really have nothing to prepare for the interview. You don't bring any documents? No, the information and so on, the interview company has it. If Mib can't even get this information, it is not fit to manage aliens around the world. And not only can they get it, but they can also get it. After finally finding his car, Jay reached out and touched the body, it's okay, it's okay, it wasn't damaged. It's a pity that my E.T. was stolen just like that. If you let me know who it was, I'd definitely take it. Grab it and lock it up. It's okay, I'll give you some more fun alien dolls in the future. Fan Mang said casually. After seeing more aliens, I will feel that E.T. is nothing at all. Let's talk about your salary first. By the way, why did you wear sunglasses when you came out of the house just now? It's nothing, I just think that the sunglasses are more in line with my cold temperament. Hey, I'm the most handsome police detective in New York, you talk to me about temperament. Jay raised an eyebrow. It's a pity you don't have a girlfriend. Fan Mang said faintly. I was a policeman for several years and caught hundreds of criminals. It's a pity you don't have a girlfriend. 
I was the NYPD shooting champion last year. It's a pity you don't have a girlfriend. Enough. What else would you say other than this? You don't have a girlfriend either. Jay became anxious. Your ET is lost. Jay, you'd better not say a word to me before you get to Mib. After a while, Fan Mang looked at Jay, but didn't say a word, just kept looking. Okay, okay, just say whatever you want, okay. Jay was defeated by Fan Mang's eyes. You drove past just now, and the next street you turn right is the Mib headquarters. UU reading www.uugonshu.com fxxk. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Jay turned around quickly, he didn't want his brother to be late for the interview, it was already 8.50. Squeak 504, Bailey Street arrived, the brakes sounded, Fan Mang got out of the car, Jay, won't you come in with me to have a look? You're interviewing, what am I going to do? Jay waved his hand. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I just went over there to buy a donut. I've never been to this place before. What if it's a liar? You're a policeman, and you have experience dealing with bad guys. Help me to check it out? After the interview, I'll treat you to dinner. Fan Mang helped Jay open the car door, looking like he was very timid look. Ha ha ha, no liar can escape the eyes of my brave New York police detective. You are right, in case I lied to you, I will accompany you in, the interview is successful, and I want you to treat yourself to a feast. Jay parked the car, wore a casual t-shirt, hummed a song and walked in with Fan Mang. The writing on the wall reads Bridges and Tunnels Authority, and Jay is at a loss. Fan, what position are you applying for? Does the Bridge and Tunnel Administration have a suitable job for you? Fan Mang shrugged. Who knows, I need a job now. I'm a little hesitant about it, so I need your company. Don't worry, we are friends. With me, the brave New York police detective, no one can bully you. Jay opened the door. Entering the door is a corridor. There is only a person with a newspaper sitting on a chair. Is this the doorman? What's the matter with the two of you? The newspaper reader raised his head. Someone gave my brother this business card. Jay held Mib's business card. Two people. The person reading the newspaper was a little puzzled, but still pointed to the elevator in front of him, go in the elevator. Jay curiously followed Fan into the elevator, hey, he didn't seem to say what floor it was on. Uh this elevator only has door buttons. Fan Mang calmly pressed the door. I think someone will control the elevator and take us to the interview place. At this time, Kay was watching the two people in the elevator through the elevator's surveillance camera. Fan seemed very calm, while Edwards was curious about everything. He has investigated the information of two people. Edwards is a very heroic New York police detective who has captured a lot of criminals. He has good marksmanship, good physical strength and trustworthy character. There seems to be no problem with that fan's resume. He is a Chinese-American with both deceased parents, an ordinary college graduate, and worked as a salesman, fitness trainer, delivery man, and many other jobs. Later, he resigned due to personal reasons and was roommates in a shared apartment with Edwards. Without any criminal record. But he discovered an interesting thing. Fan's parents died because of an alien incident. Perhaps it was at that time that Fan met Mib and learned about these things. Fan, why do I feel the elevator is going down? Jay looked at Fan Mang, shouldn't it be going up? Which company's interview address will be underground? Just because it's the tunnel company? It's okay, look, the elevator door is open. Fan Mang raised his legs and walked out, and Jay quickly followed. There were some eggs haped seats in the room. There were eight seats in total. Only two were empty. The two of them walked over and sat down on their own. There was another person standing in front of them, looking at them both, you two are a little late. Fan Mang glanced at the Rolex on his wrist and took it from Jack's store last night, it seems that we are not late. My name is Z, 
you are all selected by our MIB, from the Air Force, Navy, Army, Navy Special Forces, Special Forces, New York Police, um and an unemployed youth. Everyone looked at Fan Meng. Apart from being a soldier, they were the police. Only this Fan Meng had the most special identity. How could he have received an interview invitation from all of them? What to choose? I didn't come for the interview, just to accompany my brother. Jay immediately raised his hand and said. Fan Meng held his wrist, after listening to others, if you don't want to join, can others force you to join? Zi glanced at Fan Meng, and he didn't understand why his best detective, K, would recommend two people, especially this totally irrelevant Fan Meng, who could do their job well. I'm going to pick one of you and join us. Listen, just pick one. Next, I'll give you a simple test. Okay, do you have any questions? Fan Mang clenched his fist silently, so he can only say sorry to Jay, he must join Mib. Hey, Fan, these are your competitors? Are you sure you can get this job? Jay leaned over to Fan Mang and asked in a low voice, I don't even know why you came. But why did some soldiers come back to the bridge and tunnel company to apply for jobs? Z glanced at Jay, it seems that many people have doubts, so does anyone know why they came? Someone stood up instantly, Lieutenant Zeke, an outstanding graduate of West Point Military Academy, we are here because you need the elite of the elite. After speaking, Zeke looked at Jay and Fan Mang with contempt. How did these two scumbags get in? Jay sneered, after talking for a long time, I still don't know why. This is also the elite among the elites. The other interviewees all looked at Jay, who shrugged. Don't you like this joke? Z looked helplessly at the one-way glass, and behind it was another examiner, K, because this time it was K who wanted to choose a new person as his partner. Okay, let's start answering the questions. Everyone started to answer the questions, and Fan Mang also took out a pen and paper from the chair. J originally thought it had nothing to do with him, but it was boring anyway, let's see what the topic is. Just one accident, his pencil broke. I looked left and right, no one should pay attention, will it make him lose the pencil? Hey, what kind of idiot came up with this, he doesn't even have a desk, so it's not convenient to write at all. Jay muttered softly. But he found that Fan Mang actually stood up from his seat, put the test questions on the chair, then walked to the middle of the room and pulled the table in front of him. Smart. Move this way a little bit, I can use it too. Jay moved the chair and moved to the edge of the table. Everyone else looked at the two of them in amazement. They both served in the army and obeyed the most rules. If the boss didn't let the table move, they wouldn't move anyone. These two people, it seems that they should be eliminated, they are too undisciplined. K, who was behind the glass, raised the corners of his mouth. He admired Fan Mang's approach very much. The other soldiers were too disciplined. When doing their job, they had to be flexible and try their best. Hey, Fan, why are there so many questions, have you finished them all? I don't know many of them. But it doesn't matter, I'm just writing casually, I think you've filled it all. There are a lot of questions that are too out of touch. Actually, Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com asked how to deal with aliens, and where there are aliens. After Z collected the test questions, J came over. Fortunately, if the aliens do not affect the Earth and obey the laws here, then there is no problem, as long as they don't reveal their identities. If they commit a crime, they must be arrested, expelled, or shot to death. You are a policeman, and you have to deal with these problems should be more familiar than me. Capturing aliens? Ha ha ha, you answered the same as I did. I wrote that no matter which planet they are, they will be arrested if they dare to commit crimes in front of me. The other six soldiers looked at the two. Shouldn't this kind of problem be reported first and then acted upon? It seems that these two are destined to be eliminated. The next item, 
the physical fitness test. Fan Mang moved his body, just by crushing these warrior kings to show his advantage. There's no need to use these, let's wrestle our arms, the one who wins is the strongest. Fan Mang didn't touch the test equipment, but looked at the soldiers provocatively. The Lieutenant Zeke who was despised by Jay was the first to come over. He looked at Fan Mang's figure with a sneer at the corner of his mouth, I'll tell you the end of arrogance. K frowned in the distance. Why did Fan Mang, who didn't seem to be in good physical condition, take the initiative to ask for an arm wrestling? Do you know that the strength test data must be bad? But it would be embarrassing to lose like that. Start. Z also wanted to eliminate Fan Mang directly, so he did not refuse the test, but the situation seemed to be wrong. The outstanding graduate of the West Point Military Academy blushed, while Fan Mang seemed to be at ease. Are you already at your maximum strength? An outstanding graduate of West Point Military Academy, this level of strength? Oh, you lose before I exert myself. Wow Fan, you are actually a master of arm wrestling. I guess some people's honors are blown out, or obtained by some disgraceful means. Jay fanned the flames beside him. Fan Mang can win by arm wrestling, so he must be able to. When he was in the apartment, it was not that he never played with Fan Mang, and he never lost. The other soldier kings looked at Zeke with contempt, your level really embarrassed us, I guess it was the graduates of that class of West Point Military Academy. Captain Malfoy, from the Navy SEALs. Boy, don't think you'll be proud of winning a parallel trade. I'll show you what power is. Malfoy put his hand on the table, he wants to get this kid in a second, and let the interviewer Z see, he is the elite of the elite. Fan Mang showed a shy smile, okay, I'll wait and see. As Z started speaking, the muscles on Malfoy's arm instantly swelled up, and a second later, the competition was over, but the back of his hand touched the table. Uh, are you here to be funny? I thought how strong you are, it's not even half a second, right? Jay continued to mock beside him. He had long seen that these soldiers were unhappy, and their nostrils were skyrocketing. Who do you look down on? Is anyone else dissatisfied? Fan Mang glanced at the others. I'm here, Captain Gordon, a special sniper. Gordon usually exercises a lot of arm strength, after all, the recoil of a sniper rifle is much greater. Ordinary people fire a shot, and if they are not careful, their shoulder bones can be broken. A second later, Fan Mang yawned, it's too slow. Come on two of you. I can do it with both hands. Don't waste time. Jay stood behind Fan Mang and pinched Fan Mang's shoulders, yet. Yeah, who else would you disagree with? Let's go together, my brother will show you what power is. Jay repeated what Malfoy said just now, but his expression was very flat. Naturally, it is impossible for other people to admit that they are cowardly. Some people even think that Fan Mang might just break out like this. If he competes with a few more people, he will always be tired, right? But the remaining few people got on all of them lost in a second, and some may even be lost in less than a second. Jay, it's your turn. Fan Mang looked at Jay and said. Me? I'll let it go. Besides, I'm just here to accompany you to the interview, and it's not that I'm looking for a job. Jay sneered. Seeing that the muscular guys all lost, he didn't think he could win. Maybe Fan didn't take it seriously during the test in the apartment before? It can't be that Fan's strength has skyrocketed in such a short period of time, right? Soft Egg, you don't even have the courage to compete. Some people couldn't help but despise him, if it wasn't for this guy chattering around, he didn't think he would necessarily lose. We're brothers, we've tried many times, we won't decide whether to win or lose, you know. Jay said loudly, sitting down and winking at Fan Mang, brother. Do you understand what I mean? Z also began to be curious about J. The two people recommended by K, an unemployed young man, is actually more powerful than those soldiers. 
What about this super policeman? Start. Jay suddenly exerted his strength, he didn't want to lose in less than a second. But he found that no matter how hard he tried, Fan's arm didn't seem to move. The two held a stalemate for almost ten seconds, and when he saw Fan Mang's eyes, he immediately let go, forget it, it's a draw again. He had no doubt that if Fan Mang had used his strength just now, he would have suffered a disastrous defeat like those warrior kings, but who made them brothers? Zi looked at Fan Mang, and then looked back at a glass. The two people you chose didn't seem to be easy to manage. In the end, who are you going to eliminate, the policeman who talkatively, or the unemployed youth with exceptionally strong physical fitness? Next, test speed, bounce, endurance, climbing, etc., are you all right? There was actually a big stadium underground, with eight people in exactly eight lanes. In terms of sprinting, there was not much difference between the others, but Fan Mang was more than five meters ahead of the second place. Zi looked at the data, the hundred meters were nearly ten seconds. Others are already very good in about eleven seconds. The high jump is also at the level of athletes, and it is a long way ahead of others. In terms of endurance, the 10,000 meter load-bearing run, these soldiers are gearing up for each other, this is a trivial matter for them, and finally they can crush the unemployed young man. Unfortunately, from the beginning to the end, Fan Mang was far ahead, and it seemed that the speed had not changed. On the contrary, many of them were brought out of rhythm, and Jay took the advantage and became the second. Hey, those are really the kings of soldiers? Not pretending? Such people can only do clerical jobs when they come to our NYPD. Jay sat next to Fan Mang and said it out loud deliberately. Originally, he was here to accompany Fan Mang to the interview, but now he is going to compete with those soldier kings, let them know that the soldier king is just like that. Who knows, anyway, I think they are very average, and I think they will be eliminated soon. Fan Mang was very satisfied with his physical fitness test. LV2 is a cow, and it completely crushed those soldiers. However, compared to Alien, this result seems to be not enough. Okay, the next item is the shooting test. Everyone can use pistols, right? Then come with me, you will destroy some monsters in a while. Z looked at the test results, and Fan Mang, who he was least optimistic about, was actually the number one in each category. 1. Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com Fan Mang took a deep breath. This was his weakest link, and it was estimated that his grades would be at the bottom. Fortunately, he should get high marks in the written test and physical fitness test. Shooting? Ha ha ha, I'm the shooting champion of the NYPD, and they are sure to lose. Jay looked at the others with a defiant expression. I want to see how good you soldiers are at shooting. The other six soldiers all sneered. All of them are kings of soldiers. Wouldn't their shooting be inferior to a little policeman? The bullets they fired are more than many police stations consume in a year. Especially Captain Gordon, as a special sniper, he is not only a sniper rifle, but a sharpshooter like a pistol. This time, he can finally teach the two of them a lesson. Standing in front of a gate, there were eight pistols on the table in front of him. The door opened and everyone quickly picked up their pistols. Fan Mang was the last one. Through the faint light, everyone saw some monsters in front of them. Some had several eyes, some had many tentacles, but after only a second of hesitation, everyone started to shoot quickly, only Fan Mang and Jay didn't shoot. Jay was observing the situation in front of him and making a basic judgment, while Fan Mang opened his personal information the moment he got the pistol. Fan Mang, sex, male, level, 2, health, 76, spirit, 2.1, strength, 2, 1, speed, 2.1, special ability, none, weapon, pistol M9, proficiency 0, can't use pistol at all. Free attribute point 3 After adding one attribute point to the back of the pistol, 
Fan Mang quickly added all the other two points, and the evaluation became pistol proficient at LV3, and his confidence also came. Soon, everyone shot out the bullets, and those monsters were all covered with bullet holes. But there were two gunshots inexplicably, and the soldiers next to him couldn't help but laugh. With three points added, pistol shooting has changed from not at all to proficient, and M9 proficiency has also become 100%. Now his M9 level is no weaker than these people. Did you see it? This is the NYPD shooting champion who hit a poor little girl in the head with one shot. And the unemployed youth who shot the little girl in the eye with one shot. Are these two people sure they weren't killers? Ha ha ha, we really don't show our level by competing with such people. Several soldiers were mocking, but Z came over, you two, won't you explain it to me? Fan Mang answered first, because I don't think all monsters are bad. For example, the one on the street lamp, I feel like I'm working out in the gym. Jay added, yeah, what does it feel like to be arrested or shot while you're exercising? Pft he said that the monster was exercising, ha 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 the other soldiers couldn't hold back their laughter. Fan Mang ignored the ridicule of these people and continued, the roaring monster, he looks very aggressive, but he has toilet paper in his hand, I think he is just sneezing. Jay laughed, it's also possible that he was going to the toilet, maybe a little constipated. Sneezing and going to the toilet are both innocent, why shoot him? When the soldiers next to him saw the toilet paper, their expressions changed. They couldn't be really wrong, right? Z looked at Fan Mang and Jay with interest, then why did you kill Tiffany? that little girl. Fan Mang continued to answer, an eight-year-old white girl, walking alone at night in a street full of monsters, and holding a book on quantum mechanics, frankly, I have never read a university and can't understand quantum mechanics, a little girl how can you possibly understand? Yes, I don't understand this kind of book either, it's too esoteric. There must be something wrong with this little girl. I suspect she is the most terrifying, so I killed her. It seems that Fan, you and I think exactly the same, give me five. Just because of this stupid reason, you two shot a poor little white girl. Malfoy shook his head, he didn't even know the basic principles of shooting to avoid hostages and civilians, no matter how good you were before. Hey, just because she's white? If it was a little black girl, would you shoot? Jay was not happy. He is black and Fan is yellow. Kay looked at the two people who gave high fives in front of the monitor. The thinking of these two people was very good, unlike those kings of soldiers, who were both rigid. It's just that he is only going to choose one partner, how should the two deal with it? Z walked to Kay's side, you don't like those kings of soldiers? These two are not easy to manage. Are you sure you want to choose from them? Kay smiled, the two of them caught up with the Cyberstars on foot. They have to be very tough. You can also see the results of the physical fitness test. They are very good. Boss, I don't care too much. Z sighed, Kay is really hard to manage, but he is the best agent. And it is Kay who chooses his partner, and he has to respect Kay's choice. Okay you just know what you're doing. Back at the shooting range, Z smiled and thought of everyone, congratulations to all of you for your years of training, and your grades are good. Let's take the last test, eyesight. Everyone else ran out quickly, Fan Mang and Jay walked behind. Jay danced and danced, our commentary cooperation just now was too tacit, I think we can go to comment on the Super Bowl. And when did you learn shooting? Did you miss it? That's strength. I never said that I don't know how to shoot. The two continued to walk out, and at the door, they saw Kay with a folder. Kay handed the folder to Jay, the political axe made contact with the aliens in 1950. Except for the aliens, all human beings regard this as a joke. Fan Mang looked at the six soldiers who were sitting in a room, while Z was taking out a memory eraser and asking everyone to see clearly. He turned his head, a flash of light flashed behind him, 
the fate of those six people was to be eliminated. Isn't it said that there is only one, why is K introducing Mib to both of them? Are there still tests? In 1961, aliens made their first contact with us in New York. Seven agents, an astronomer, and a lost boy. Jay looked at the information and looked at Kay in disbelief, sure it wasn't a joke, isn't this a movie E.T.? And the one who presented flowers to the aliens seemed to be the old guy beside him. He looked at Fan Mang, hoping that Fan Mang would laugh at the old man with him, but he found Fan Mang's serious expression, wouldn't he really believe the old man's words? This way. These aliens are all refugees from the Milky Way. They use the Earth as a refuge. We have hidden evidence of their landing. All we see in the pictures are real spaceships, or flying saucers. Jay murmured in a low voice, isn't this something from the World's Fair, UFO? Fan Mang suddenly asked, can we visit the UFO later? Kay turned to look at Fan Mang, after joining Mib, you will have the opportunity to visit. Every year more and more aliens come to Earth, so. Jay suddenly said, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you or change the subject. When was the last time you checked your body? Did you have a CT scan of your brain? Would you like me to introduce you to a doctor? Six months ago, it was the company's rule that a medical examination was required every year, and you will be once a year in the future. You should make another appointment. Jay patted Fan Mang's shoulder with a big smile, did you hear what he said to us? Alien, ha 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 Jay, you should respect an old gentleman. Fan Mang said seriously. Okay, okay, I'll be respectful and don't laugh. No, I can't help it anymore, ha 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 Jay covered his mouth, but immediately made a puff ha ha sound, and his laughter crooked waist. Hey, tell us where the exit is, I'm very happy today. Fan, for the sake of making me so happy today, I'll invite you for lunch. Yu Yu Reading www.yuyuganshu.com Which bridge and tunnel company have you seen that will test the shooting of the interviewee? This company is not suitable for you. I will go back to my friend to introduce you another one, or with your skills, you can test the police, and we can become partners. It's called New York Super. Police Team Kay thinks that none of the people who had interviewed before did not believe it, so he was not discouraged. When they saw it with their own eyes, they would believe it. Want coffee? Kay pointed to the pantry. No, thank you. Jay waved his hand and whispered to Fan Mang again, I suspect that his coffee here has spices added, so he has a brain, you know. I want to have a drink. Jay, come on, I didn't eat anything in the morning, and I'm hungry too. In the tea room. Several monsters with tentacles and tails were sitting and chatting, some drinking coffee, some drinking tea, and some smoking. When they saw Kay, they also said hello, Hey, Kay is this your new partner? Do you want coffee, but the creamer is gone. Fan Mang made a panic look and accidentally knocked over a plate beside the table. Hey, look at it, you have to clean it up yourself if it's overturned. Kay. Your new partner isn't brave enough. An alien who was as high as Fan Mang's knees said after reaching out to catch the plate. Jay, there are really aliens. Fan Mang didn't need to perform, he was really excited. This kind of alien is much more shocking to the senses than that cyberstar. Jay was waiting outside the coffee room when he heard Fan Mang's voice. He looked inside and saw the monsters, his mouth widened and his eyes widened but he was speechless. K is only satisfied with the performance of the two, one is too calm, the other doesn't believe it, it's normal now. Well, it seems that you are not interested in this job, so I just don't have to choose. K looked at Jay, he was actually very satisfied with Jay, like when he was young, but Fan Mang was obviously better. Moreover, Fan Mang's excellence is somewhat abnormal. Such an excellent person would have lost his job before? And this physical fitness is too exaggerated. No, no, I'm interested. Well, can you hire two people? Jay suddenly felt that the police job was nothing. 
On the bench in the park, Kay explained to the two in a low voice, there are about 1,500 aliens on the Earth, and many of them gather in the Manhattan area because there is a flight station for the spacecraft. They all have hidden identities here. They may be a taxi driver, a chef in a restaurant, or a second-hand businessman. Jay thought of Jack from that store. He had known him for a long time, but he didn't know whether he was an alien or an alien arms dealer. Only a few people know about them, like us. Why not let everyone know? Jay asked rhetorically. Jay, everyone's ideas are different. Some people have guns to catch bad guys, and some people have guns to be bad guys. I don't know, but it's also a kind of happiness for many ordinary people. Fan Mang patted it. Tap Jay on the shoulder. I don't know it's also a kind of happiness. I like this explanation very much. Kay glanced at Fan Mang, the young man felt very strange to him, a little too calm, could it be that the last memory was not completely cleared? Impossible, memory eraser, never failed. What are the advantages and disadvantages of us joining? Jay asked in detail. The advantage is that you can see a lot of aliens, and also see a lot of technology products that you have never thought of, by the way, our treatment is also very good, we also have special weapons to protect you, you have seen it before, it should be forgotten now. As for the downside, that is that you will no longer have contact with ordinary people, and even disappear from their eyes and memories, and your training will be very hard. When Kay was talking, he also paid special attention to Fan Mang's eyes. He saw the look of memories in Fan Mang's eyes, and he seemed to have doubts. This was a normal reaction. Fan Mang asked at this time, Z said before that only one person would be recruited, but now the two of us, won't we have to eliminate one more? If one of you gives up voluntarily, then I don't have to choose. If you all want to join, it can only be a trainee detective. Follow me to learn how to be a MIB detective, and I will tell you who will be eliminated in the end. Maybe being eliminated is also a kind of happiness. You can return to a normal society, you can have many friends, you can watch football after work, drink beer, and occasionally play cards. This is also the life that Kay wants. Jay was very hesitant. Joining this organization, he had to say goodbye to the past, is it worth it? There was no use for Kay to answer, Fan Mang looked at him seriously, I want to try. Maybe you will be eliminated by me during the internship, so this is also a different experience, isn't it, but it will not remain in your memory in the end. Kay stood up, I give you one day to think about it, and tomorrow morning, I hope you will give me the answer, if you are strong and brave enough. No, it doesn't take a day. I can promise you now that I am willing to join Mib. Fan Mang stated his position directly, then looked at Jay. Hey, brother, listen to me, and give him an answer tomorrow. Jay stopped Fan Mang and whispered in his ear, Tonight we're going to the bar. Before the brutal training and social distancing, you have to relax a bit, no? Think about not being able to go to the bar to find hot girls in the future. Maybe when you get old, you will be as single as this old guy. Don't you think about it again. Fan Mang immediately changed his words, okay, then I'll think about it for one night. We'll go to 504, Bailey Street tomorrow to find you. Kay pointed to his ears, I have special equipment here, and I can hear you whispering. If you drink too much and delay your entry tomorrow, then I will look for a new intern. Fan Mang was a little embarrassed, but Jay turned around and dragged Fan Mang away. It would be even more embarrassing to carry him here. Kay looked at the backs of the two of them, the corners of his mouth twitched upwards, it's nice to be young. Hey, so we're going to join the organization that manages aliens? Ah ha ha ha, this is my childhood dream. While driving, Jay couldn't hide his excitement and twisted his body to the music. What if the E.T. in his car was stolen? Now that he has seen real, living aliens, who still likes those doll models? Fan, why do you seem so calm, did you know there were aliens before? I always thought that aliens should be more than E.T., 
so I had long guessed that there would be an organization to manage aliens, and now it is finally possible to join, of course I am very excited. And you'd better be honest when you're driving, I don't want an accident on the road. Come on, don't suppress your nature, you have to show it when you are happy. Swing with the rhythm like me, yes, just like this, you can attract hot girls when you get to the bar later. Fan, have you ever thought that you might not pass the internship period? Jay suddenly asked. Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com He didn't want to practice for a few months and then be eliminated. All these experiences were completely forgotten. Hey, anyway, maybe after the internship period, you won't remember me, but don't worry, I will remember you. Jay looks like he can pass the internship period and become a real man in black. Really? If you are eliminated, I will remember you too. If I hadn't released water during my arm wrestling today, would you be able to pass the level? You don't look strong, why is your body so strong? Have you practiced Chinese Kung Fu? Like Bruce Lee? Can you teach me? Jay felt incredible after seeing Fan Mang compare all those soldiers to the king today. Are you sure this is the Fan you know? Could it be aliens pretending to be? That's right, it's Chinese Kung Fu. You need to start practicing at the age of four. I have been practicing for twenty years, and you must be a virgin to practice. You are no longer qualified. Fan Mang casually invented a boy trick, which shocked Jay. It's no wonder you never find a girlfriend, then I'd rather not practice this kind of kung fu, it's inhumane. Jay chattered, then you can only watch me bring a hot girl home tonight, it's so pitiful. No, I just practiced it in 20 years, so I don't need to be a virgin. But we don't have much money, what kind of bars can we go to? Fan, K said that when we join Mib tomorrow, we will make a clean break with the past. So today we maxed out our credit cards, does it matter? Tonight I'm going to the best bar and drinking the most expensive wine. I know a bar that many stars often go to, and there are dance performances in it, ga ga go. Jay slammed on the accelerator, and tonight he is going to be the most popular in the audience. Proud boy.